I am back. I decided to give Treasure Hunter Simulator another try. I The first time I played it, I think I played it for about an hour, and then I got hit with the copyright uh, thing with the music. So, um, I hadn't played it for a solid minute, and I decided to come back and make sure this time to turn off the sound. So let's go in. I have a job, I guess. Uh, inheritance case uh, 65202. Good morning. My name is Johan Schmidt, and I am writing to you as a representative of the Willpower Inheritance Company. Regret, we regret to inform you that your uncle, Sir Richard Clapperton, has deceased. I am sending this message to you to inform you that we are starting the inheritance case 65202. Following Sir Richard's wishes, I am also providing your email address to a selected number of contacts that will follow a different set of rules provided in the last will. One year from now, these contacts will be asked to provide a full review of your actions, and based on them, we will be able to wire the part of the inheritance that Sir Richard wished to give you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact. Right. So we have a side job uh clean up the altsy area of trash greetings my name is robin hewitt i represent the institution uh institute of archaeology i'm writing to you thanks to our mutual friend johan schmidt currently we do not have any major jobs that we can present to you but if you wish to start a closer working relationship with our organization we would like to offer you a job in the bavarian lake area we are looking to get a permit to search the area and establish an archaeological camp. In order to do that, we must make a good impression. Please let me know if you'll accept it. Robin Hewitt. Why? Why not? Hey, we got a, an achievement. Okay. Done. Uh, we hope that you are doing well. Me and my organization are looking for contractors in the area that you seem to be working in. Please let us know if you're interested in a small... Recently learned about the level of professionalism. We're looking for a highly skilled to help us with a small contract.
Aqua. Thanks. You have entered the time trial start area. Start. Fast as we get to the upper. I'm not sure I understand this assignment, but we're doing it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh, and hey. Okay. Uh, controls. Z. It just kills me that he will not jump. Like, one, what treasure hunter doesn't jump, even just a little? Who makes a Unity game that you can't jump? I can. Alright. 
I have to do it on their time. necklace looks valuable. Gold necklace takes back to the 18th century Europe. Give the, given the personal nature of the item, it is likely... Uh, it was actually the same exact description of an item that we found in Europe. Nail. Think. Pull it. Think. A nail. is made of an iron dates back to the 19th century judging by its size pin wards and bits this key was used either for a padlock or a lock in a drawer or a small cabinet the earliest known lock and key device was discovered in the ruins of Nanva India the capital
Ooh, we were right on top of it. Do not make me dig around the cemetery area. Mean. or a button. Had that before. there. Dang. Exciting guys, it's a nail. button. Holding chair. Hmm. 
Ah, bottle cap. Makes a joke about the bottle cap being pointless unless you uh, wait until uh, the year 2077. We can return to the office now. I think I messed up with this.
Oh, well, your findings, your prestige level has increased. So I didn't include, I did have to reset the map for the Bavarian Lake, uh, which is why I went from 41% to 7% completed. It only made me find five trash items. Yay! Yay, we got a new thing. Contact confirmation number one. Good morning. The message is just a follow-up on our previous conversation. Our office has received a message from the Institute of Archaeology confirming your activity. Will we consider this as the first step in completing the will of Sir Richard Clapperton? Have a good day. Find treasures. First of all, thank you for dealing with the issue of my previous email. We managed to get a positive response to our permit inquiry. Right now, the Institute is looking to increase the number of archaeological finds from the Alt Sea Lake area. We would be grateful if you find any items of historical value you can send our way. So, and thank for just having. We'll look at it. Okay. Ooh, something different. A steel uh, that hat. This Brody helmet. It wasn't actually a Brody helmet, but the British helmet. Still, Mark the First. Uh, Mark One as the helmet worn by the British since 1915 is officially known. The name Brody has, however, often been and is used uh, as it has been designed and patented in London by John Leopold Brody in August of 1915. When World War I started on July 28, 1914, none of the combatants provided their soldiers with steel helmets. Instead, they went into battle wearing cloth, felt, or leather headgear that offered no protection on the reinvented battlefields of World War I. The staggering amount of head injuries among the French troops and troops inflicted by massive artillery barrages deployed in World War I for the first time on this scale led to the development and deployment of steel helmets starting in 1915. They but with that acceptment of the prestige, we got new stuff, because this wasn't before. Two metal crimps with semicircular hugs joined by a hinge. When closed, there was a small hole into which lead be poured. Uh, musket balls. Uh, dating back to the early 19th century, these bullet casing molds have been used by Austro-Hungarian troops for quick production of new bullets for their muskets. What makes these molds stand out are the additional three consecutive holes allowing to accelerate the production of bullets. Uh, most casting molds for bullets all over the world were designed to cast a single bullet on occasion two at most. This old necklace dates back to the 18th century Europe. Given the personal nature of the item, it is likely an old family heirloom 
lost by a soldier during a war, as odds of just losing or misplacing joy like this are rather low, given the past conflicts in this area and amount of European soldiers who fought here makes it the most likely scenario. Okay, so, uh, now that we've increased our prestige, it's actually, the game has become a lot more fun. I wonder as our prestige increases even more, if it gets better. Come on. bullet. No doubt this is a casing from the mass of 50 BMG cartridge given the location of it. Likely to date back to World War II where it has seen its first use on a massive scale. Developed during World War I by John Browning for use in anti-aircraft weapons, it has been quickly adapted for other areas such as the aircraft or naval weapons or the Browning M1921 machine gun. The 50 BMG cartridge has been part of every major conflict since World War II and is among the best known and mostly recognizable cartridges in the world. This med medallion's design is in fact known as the Miraculous Medal, designed and produced by the French goldsmith Adrien Vachette in 1830. It is not known how many he made, but they were made quite popular ever since. The origins of this medallion are based on a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a French sister by name of Catherine de Bore. Uh, any mispronunciations? Clearly my, my bad. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering names. The design of the medallion directly reflects elements of that vision, like the 12 stars on the back of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, crowned with thorns next to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, pierced with the sword. The medallion went into production with the approval of the Catholic Church and has been reproduced ever since. It is estimated that more than a million people worldwide carry a copy of that design today. Oh, we're done. Okay. I uh, the pickle hob. While searching through the history of the region, our researchers have found an old letter describing a pickle hob helmet hidden somewhere in the area. After careful examination, we, we believe that we found a photo attached to this email that depicts the area where the helmet was hidden. If you're heading out to the lake again, we ask you to check the area shown in the photo. Thank you. Behind one of the cabins. Gonna. I'm afraid to dig outside of the assignments in case it, what happens to me the first time where um, I took a quest and I accidentally already dug up the item. Items.
a nail. what that is, but that's something new. Some sort of tool or part of a tool. It's an old carving chisel, most likely as old as the 18th century. A common tool back when, back then among carpenters made out of iron or steel, depending on the period. Purpose and what the particular carpenter could afford. other cat. There's the helmet. Uh, this type of helmet is called a barboot or a barbuta based on it being an Italian design. These types of helmets were invented in Italy in the 15th century and are easily recognized by their T or sometimes Y shaped openings for the eyes and the mouth. Unlike the salets, another type of open helmet invented in Italy around the same time. Barbudas never became popular outside of Italy in neighboring territories. That is a nice looking fit. A uh, Bavarian army spiked helmet as evidenced by the zinc emblem called the pickle hub. Haba. Originally designed in 1842 by King Frederick William IV of Perugia of the Perugian infantry, quickly spread throughout Germany, was adapted by the then Kingdom of Bavaria by 1887. It is uncertain where the inspiration for the design came from, 
the Germans copied the Russians, if it was parallel invention, or simply being based on the Napoleonic cavalry helmet. What is certain is that the design has quickly become very popular and by the second half of the 19th century has been adapted not only by nearby countries such as Norway or Sweden, but also by Bolivia, Colombia, Chile, Ecuador, Mexico, and many more. It's a nice looking helmet. Uh, in great shape for being buried. We get to somewhere. Uh, the Pickle Hub. Good morning. We have received our first progression report from the Institute of Archaeology. We would like to congratulate you on finding the pickle hob and use this moment to inform you that every historical artifact that you find following the wishes of Sir Richard Clapperton will remain in your care until the inheritance case is completed. All of the organizations contacting you have been informed about this fact and have agreed to follow the wishes of Sir Richard. Have a good day. Right, I'll go ahead and call it done here. If you guys like it, I will continue on. I actually am much more enjoying it now that there is jobs. Uh, I understand how the jobs work um, instead of just blindly going to the areas and uh, picking up the items. So thank you so much for watching.